Good morning. Good morning. It is Thursday morning and it is time for our weekly follow up for our faith weekly faith project. I don't know why it's so hard for me to get the title of this book right. The weekly faith project. <clears throat> such a simple book, such a simple lesson, but it's more than just being so simple. I hope you guys are growing in your faith. I hope you guys are becoming more excited about just seeing faith appear in your daily, as you go about your day, whether you're going to work, whether you have doctor's appointments, whether you're taking the children to their doctor's appointments or school or summer camps, whatever the case may be, even just walking your dog in the community. There is faith everywhere. Beauty, God's beauty, God's creation is everywhere. I know it's hot. It's hot here in Atlanta. If you're watching from Florida, I know it's hot in Florida. No matter If you're watching in Buffalo, we have some Buffalo people watching. We have some Florida people in this group. I know it's hot, but you know, God has a reason for everything. There's beauty in the heat. I, I have faith somehow that there's beauty in the heat. I haven't found it yet, but I know that there is beauty in this heat. You know, last night, Eddie and I were watching this program. Eddie always watches nature and um, that fascinates him. And, and so I, you know, I sat down and I said, okay, let me just sit here and watch this. You know, I'm me with my cynical self. Oh, are we watching turtles tonight? <laughs> you know, but it, it, it transitioned from sharing about, you know, the habitat of turtles and how useful turtles are to the earth to transitioning to forest fires and how much forest fires are useful for the earth. It talked about how there are some trees that can withstand the fire, the smoke, the smolder, um, while the, the fire has its purpose of burning off the weeds and everything else that kind of kills and chokes um, the growth of nature. And so in, in learning that, just, and, and I know there's so much more about that to learn, to get the full understanding of that. What I walked away from that little bit of piece, that, that little bit of piece of information was that fires can be useful to promote new growth. Now, isn't that a parallel to being in a fire or a hailstorm? of trouble or tribulation, tribulation. Um, and I have a whole other thing to talk about dealing with that and um, uh, relating passion with your pain. But it made me think about this heat and how, hmm, there must be some use, usefulness to this heat that we're having. And as long as we trust God, and as long as we may remain faithful, we'll be able to see and understand and know what purpose this heat as for us right now. But for your follow-up this week, we are on week nine. And in week nine, you're learning and understanding that faith is knowing that God is able. And so what they're talking about is God is able to make good on his promises. I had a session a, um, with one of um, our group members that doesn't have access to the internet. We, we meet on Wednesday night. I go to her house and I do the very same lesson with her that I shared with you guys on Sunday. And we talked about God's promises. Um, and she got so excited about, she read ahead. She read ahead to week nine. And she has so much to say about being faithful, about God making do on his promises. And one thing she said that I want you guys to take away from you from this follow-up is, she said, my God ain't sleep on the job. Mm-mm-mm. Ain't that something? We could have just ended right there. God never, you can never, ever find God sleeping on the job. And she's in her late 70s, almost 80s. And she shared with me a time that when she was in the military, she worked on the job and it was the night shift. And oftentimes, not so often, but there were several times that she would doze off. 
and she would end up bumping her head, you know, on the desk or on her computer screen, you know, and, uh, and we laughed about that. And she said, yeah, we sleep on the job all the time. We um, don't make do on all of the promises that we make, but God is able to do whatever he said he's going to do to make good on his promises. It's impossible for him to lie. And she just did the Bible study. And it was just so refreshing to be refreshed. Um, um, because this week, this has been a tough week. It's been a hot week. It's been a tough week. So much so that the generators in our office um, shut down, probably because it was so doggone cold in there. Every time I had a break, I had to go outside to warm up because it was just so cold. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. There's a purpose in that too. <laughs> Learning about faith is going to slowly transition and shift your, your negative thinking into something positive. And you're going to be looking for something positive in every negative situation or every situation that's not so pleasant or not so bright. But um, I did give you guys a challenge on Sunday to, uh, to get you guys a promise book, get a promise book and share with me three promises that you are going to hold on to to help increase your faith while you're doing this study. So I hope you guys did that. I hope you're enjoying that. And I have a little surprise for you and you're gonna be getting an email along with this video. And what I did in my promise book, for those of you who do not have a promise book and you need to get one, I actually, created a promise list of everyone who's in this Bible study. And I gave you all individual promises. And um, I, I had a ball. It was such a joy for me to do this because as I went through the book, it, 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 I had to think about each and every one of you, your nature, your personality, maybe some things that you're going through right now and try to pick out the perfect promise for you. And see, and I believe that big things happen in small groups. When you meet with a small group on a weekly basis, you constantly have those people on your mind and on your heart. You're always praying for them. You're always thinking of them. And when I sat down to do this, I didn't rush. I thought meticulously about how I wanted um, you to grab hold to your promise. And then on the, um, the first page, it just gives some promises that we all can um, hold on to, you know. So borrow each other's promises, cling to your promises, add to your bank of promises, and, 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 and what that's going to do while you're involved in this weekly study is you're going to see your faith grow by leaps and bounds. You're going to be challenged to change the way that you perceive things by leaps and bounds. And let me tell you something. It's a good thing. What you're doing is you're slowly um, letting go of some of the ways that you think that don't benefit you and may not benefit others. And you're joining God's um, team. You're joining God's side. You're learning how to think like he does. You're learning how to see things the way God sees things. And, and that's the promise that he gives us when he tells us that we, be, we can become more like him. And, and we can start to do things, greater things than Jesus has done you know, but it's like, you got to be on his side. And so that is my weekly follow-up for you guys today. I love you guys so much. I'm praying for you guys on a weekly basis. I am going to see you guys on Sunday. Um, I am going to try to remember to text those of you who need a reminder text. It's just been crazy. It's, it's Father's Day this Sunday. So Father's Day may be a little, um, um, light uh, for our group um, as you guys may be celebrating your fathers or if you are a father we have one guy in this group that may be a father um, he may be um, having family members celebrate him so um, in um, 
in, in, in an effort that you guys may um, miss this Sunday, I, I'll record it like I always do and send out, send you guys out the recording. So I love you guys. Have a happy, wonderful Thursday. Um, increase your faith, share your faith, embrace your faith. And most of all, um, be faithful. See you next time.